wow, this is too much. Now Tyson Fury's <laughs> own dad switches up and says Wilder will be annihilated in the third fight. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Listen, I need you guys to smash the like button. Throw a like on this video that goes a long way to identify this video as something others may be interested in that like the sweet science, that like all things boxing, Wilder, Fury, 3 Talk, etc. So it goes a long way. Please hit the like button and let's talk about it. So the switch up is among us. John Fury, father of Tyson Fury, has come out and done a recent interview. And I want to read some quotes with what he said and give my thoughts. John Fury says, and I quote, Wilder, he doesn't deserve he doesn't even deserve a third fight. Wilder, he's a horrible person that got battered to death. What can he do? He's not improved, has he? With this Mickey Mouse coach there. I've seen what's going on with them. Tyson will annihilate him this time. He's had a reprieve because Tyson got the Rona, but when Tyson gets him, it'll be the end of Deontay Wilder. He'll only, he's only in it for a few quid anyway. Where, where is he gonna go get another payday if he doesn't fight Tyson? Nowhere. He'd be working on the buses in wherever he's from. So yeah, he says Wilder will be working on some kind of some buses, whatever that means. But um, listen, my thoughts, uh, this sounds completely foolish. And it's ironic at this point how anyone can even believe the Fury family when they continually and perpetually do the same thing. Lies, contradictions, things of that sort. So people believe that Tyson Fury cheated in the second fight. It looked like something was up with his gloves. This is well documented that Tyson Fury, Tyson, I mean, you could type it, Tyson Fury gloves, and I'm sure you can find it, right? Look, people circling the gloves, questioning if it was devoid of padding, wondering how his glove looked floppy, etc. So no matter what old media or Tyson Fury's dad or his team decides to do, Tyson Fury can't run from this. I've made several videos at it. Here's one of mine. You see this kind of like impression. Some people believe that he loaded his glove. Some people believe he stripped away the padding. Either way, Wilder says he has a dent in his head and this is not going away. Just because of the WBC and boxing did not choose to investigate, that doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean that Tyson Fury is innocent. You can look at his gloves from this picture that I posted and just right off the rip, you can say it looks like almost like scuba gear where it looks like latex gloves where there's no padding i mean when have you seen this in boxing how are these paffin gloves not outlawed in the sport of las vegas in the sport of boxing if his gloves are looking like this so much to the point where tyson fury fans even accuse me and others of photoshopping that's how you know the gloves look bad because people thought this picture was a photoshop Conveniently enough, the glove picture, the gallery, the photographer from Las Vegas, where top rank is set up and where Tyson Fury is mostly training recently, they deleted or denied access to that. So no matter what John Fury and Tyson Fury say, the, the ultimate judgment day is when they fight again. You know, with Fury, as I just mentioned, being accused of cheating, even if you didn't believe that there's any way, which again, since Fury has failed drug tests before, he has constant behavior that is erratic, constant behavior that is questionable. Like they said, he had the Rona days later, he surfaces at a luxury car rental. He surfaces in the casinos and bars, taking pictures with fans, completely maskless when he's supposed to have the Rona and be quarantining. You know, despite all that, even if you still had qualms or questions about did fury cheat you have to admit all of this stuff looks suspicious what also looks very very bad and suspicious for team fury is on top of him postponing the fight many speculate that he was getting whooped and sparring by fa ajagba jared big baby anderson um having it rough and sparring wasn't ready wasn't in shape he doesn't look like he's in great shape here and people think this was a plot and ploy to 
get more time now the fight's pushed back to october you still have the fury family john and tyson and everybody associated with them continuing to trash talk which is highly ironic like how are you going to create the postponement of the fight you weren't ready your team told the whole world that tyson fury was vaccinated fully and he was ready to go and that wouldn't be a problem but it was your team that whether you believe the rona story or not it was your team that dropped the ball yet and still you have john fury and tyson fury continuing with this annihilation talk and you know nonsense nonsensical talk the other thing that's highly questionable regarding the cheating i see look fury look at his back fat does he look like he was in great shape this was like a month before the fight roughly right does he look like he's in great shape and some people are like oh fury that's how he always looks but i've seen him in far better shape like the klitschko fight so we know fury has his own demons or whatever and it would take me several videos to kind of go over all of the things that have plagued fury's career but regarding the the controversy with did tyson fury cheat and the um ideology that tyson fury cheated another thing that looks highly highly suspicious is the back and forth constant ping pong from team fury and their level of confidence on top of fury pulling out of the immediate date like he was supposed to be fighting this weekend he was supposed to be fighting in a few days so he pulled out again that's all fury he's supposed to be fighting this saturday two days from now but he wasn't ready that's a fact right that's a fact despite what his team said and despite the leaked pictures of him being out and about when he's supposed to be quarantining for 10 to 14 days so that's that but another thing that's highly suspicious is as I mentioned those quotes earlier, if not, you can rewind this video. He says that Wilder's a horrible person that got battered and he can't improve and he has a Mickey Mouse coach and he'll get annihilated again. But in May, May 29th to be exact. So really in June, you know what I mean? Cause May 29th was 31 days in May. So it was the end of the month. And this is what Fury, Fury's dad was talking about. John Fury upset at Tyson Fury versus Joshua fallout, meaning he's mad that the fight between Joshua and his son didn't happen. And it says, you guys see on the screen, he is worried about Deontay Wilder. So if you didn't suspect Tyson Fury of cheating before, this very back and forth behavior should definitely alert your spider senses. Your spidey senses should definitely be tingling. In basically a month, a month or so, how did you go from saying that you are scared for your son to fight Wilder again to having the utmost confidence and doing these re recent interviews where you're saying your son's going to destroy and batter? So either you got flack for saying this and sounding scared and worried and you're trying to make up for it or Tyson Fury is working on his next cheat code. Whatever, whatever you want to surmise they're both viable options because again at the end of may this is what john fury was saying and i quote i had no interest in deontay wilder i told tyson in a phone conversation to chuck the belt in the bin meaning throw the belt away throw your only belt you're a wbc champion throw that belt away hock it in the trash can and let deontay wilder have it and fight Anthony Joshua on August 14th as planned. Keep in mind, Tyson Fury himself has said that he believes Anthony Joshua would get battered and destroyed and knocked out by Deontay Wilder. So you have the father of Fury, who I'm sure he's seen that interview with his son, where he says that Wilder would annihilate the rest of the heavyweight division. He's urging his son at the end of May, damn near June, to chuck the belt in the bin throw the belt away get rid of it so you're not bound by any rules and go fight in saudi arabia against a guy that fury says is worse than wilder basically wow you guys see it until john fury continues i'm concerned whether tyson fury can raise his game for deontay wilder whether tyson gets complacent makes a mistake 
it's got a good chance of going wrong out there. The danger point is getting fair play out there. So he's making a plethora of excuses. At the minute, in the American boxing fraternity, they have been embarrassed from the last escapade. Why wouldn't Wilder take $20 million step aside without fighting and a guaranteed shot at the winner, which was already denounced by Frank Warren, Tyson Fury's co-promoter, they said that would never even the the talks never got to that level because the arbitrator ruled in favor of Wilder and they said, all right, we got to fight him. And there was no other side conversation about let's put Wilder off or step aside, even though, again, Tyson Fury, the liar, lied and said Wilder wanted 20 million to step aside, which Wilder's team denounced. And Frank Warren, as I just told you, has proven Wilder to be right again. It's, he's basically saying, why don't you take step aside money and stuff? So you guys let me know what is this deal with Tyson Fury, where he's seemingly not ready. He's back to preaching about mental health awareness. People speculate he's not ready and he's out of shape. And then now all of a sudden his dad in a month and a half, two months time has changed his tune. Like what would make someone change their tune? So right when Tyson Fury buys more time, now his dad is back confident. Similarly, if you listen to what he was saying, what John Fury was saying before the first fight, right? Let me see if I can pull it up. Before the first Wilder fight, John Fury admits, and there's public interviews where he look oh here this is repeating what i just said tyson fury versus wilder john fury wants son to give up belt to fight anthony joshua so how did he go from late may to july and he's already saying something totally different john fury wilder three is a mistake tyson should have fought aj so how did he go so either he doesn't believe what he's saying or he knows something that we don't and Tyson Fury, since he bought more time with the Rona situation, Tyson Fury is working on his next cheating method to try to beat Deontay Wilder. And you notice Tyson Fury refuses to take the back-to-back -back tough fight. Like Wilder won. They tried to do an immediate rematch. It was Tyson Fury who jumped out of the negotiations and went over to top rank to take tune-up fights and then come back. Two fights later, after Tom Schwartz and Otto Vilene and a stint in WWE, and now all of a sudden, Tyson Fury has a completely different style. He added new people to his team, et cetera, et cetera, and you've seen the outcome. Conveniently, Wilder was saying that he was under some type of influence, some type of spell. Somebody spiked his water, and I just did a video. You guys got to check it. Stay to the end of this video where Fury was urged by his own brother not to drink the water. So all in all, this looks horrific for Team Fury. John Fury is constantly changing his standpoint. One minute he's worried about his son. The first fight he said his son was going to get knocked out and he was going to disown him if he fought Wilder. And then before the second fight, he got bold and had a bold prediction bet david hay like a hundred thousand dollars that his son would walk right through deontay wilder to beat him then after the joshua fake fight with tyson fury fell out and it was known that the arbitrator ruled in favor of wilder john fury as i just told you he dictated or he spoke and depicted that he was worried about the Wilder fight and things could go wrong. And then now all of a sudden he's talking about Wilder will be annihilated. So again, this is all over the place. If you want to believe these people, the Fury family and his team, who's constantly changing their story, then go right ahead. But this this looks bad if you, if you have to constantly change. And, and it would be one thing if someone's viewpoint changed over a gradual period of time. We're talking about months and nothing's changed. He's talking about he got a Mickey Mouse coach. I've seen what's going on. How did you see anything? You only see 10 second clips from Wilder. He says Wilder can improve, right? How do you know? They both have been out since the, the second fight, February 2020. So how do you know what he can do? How do you know if Wilder's able, able and capable of improving? John Fury said he's not improved. How do you know that?
So it just sounds like somebody who at the at the very least is just talking to be talking. And ultimately, if, if you had this much faith, then your son shouldn't have pulled out a fight and protected himself like he said he was going to. Now he wants to get the vaccination. So if you're willing to do the two part two process vaccination from the beginning, why don't you do it since you have a multi million dollar fight that was hanging in the balance again, not trustworthy stuff from the Fury family, let me know in the comment section, what would urge Tyson Fury's team to have this sudden change of heart as soon as Tyson Fury gets Rona? Don't you think that if someone got Rona, if you were just saying to the world that you were worried about the Deontay Wilder, worried about the Deontay Wilder fight, don't you think that your son coming off of a contagious sickness would, would, would further make you have doubts and worries? This is a respiratory, keep in mind, this is a respiratory virus and viral infection that affects and attacks the lungs and gives people sometimes permanent symptoms or temporary symptoms. Sometimes they can't smell. They lose certain senses. Their lung capacity isn't the same. They have trouble breathing. You've seen Alexander Povetkin. He fought Dillian White after he had Rona and he looked horrible. So why would John Fury now... If he really believes it, you explain it to me. Why would he now be so confident when just a month ago he was saying he was scared for his son? And now that his son is allegedly sick, now he has all this confidence. So all in all, doesn't look good to me. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Yeah.